Library uh, programs, also called uh, library routines. Uh, the programs uh, in a uh, program library are usually subroutines, as you might have uh, uh, knowledge of subroutines from paper 2 created to carry out particular tasks. A programmer can use uh, these within their own programs. A newly developed program are uh, likely to contain errors which only become apparent as the programs are tested or used. It saves programmers a lot of time and trouble to be able to include already tried and tested subroutines taken from a program library. So common examples uh, are the built-in functions provided for use with the programming languages like uh, string manipulation functions and all like integer function, upper function. Integer function converts a string to its uh, integer form or uh, integer function cuts off any decimal part in uh, the value given. Upper converts lowercase characters to uppercase and format formats the numbers to a particular form. Uh, the most obvious examples of library routines are built-in functions obviously available for use when the programming in a particular language. Uh, another example is the collection of uh, over uh, many hundreds of procedures for mathematical and statistics processing available from the um, numerical algorithms libraries in the languages installed. This organization uh, of the libraries is very popular. Sometimes you might have heard of the word .NET. .NET is a library by Microsoft which is already made and uh, millions of functions are over there and they can be used when you are working any of the languages made by the uh, Microsoft. Uh, we simply need uh, an overview of the library routines so you don't have to have a lot of knowledge. Um, if a compiler is used for translation and no errors are found the compiler produces the object code or the machine code this code cannot be executed by itself instead uh, it has to be linked with the code for any subroutines used by it it is possible to carry out the linking uh, before loading the full code into the memory and running it so we need uh, linker libraries there is a major disadvantage uh, in linking library routines into the executable code. This is because every program using a routine has to have its own uh, copy there. This increases the storage space requirement for every executable file generated by the compiler. It also increases memory usage when more than one process is using the same routines, let's say. The alternative is to use a routine from a dynamic link library. Uh, when a dynamic link uh, library uh, routine is available, the executable code just requires a small piece of code to be included. This allows it uh, to link to the routine, which is stored separately in memory when execu an execution of the program needs it. Many processes can be linked to the same routine. It is possible. This has the advantage that the executable file for the, all programs need less storage space. For example, uh, you might have seen this spell checker routine of Microsoft Word. You can call it in your Visual Basic program because that um, spell checking routine is available through the DLLs installed and loaded in your computer's memory if it is Windows operating system. Memory requirement is also minimized <clears throat> if the same library routine is being used by several programs. Another advantage is that uh, if a new version of the library uh, routine becomes available, it can be loaded into memory so that any program which was using the previous one will be up upgraded automatically. Um, the main disadvantage of using a DLL is that the program is relying on the routine being available and performing the executed function. If for some reason the, the DLL uh, becomes corrupted or a new version has bugs uh, which are not yet uh, discovered, uh, the program will fail or produce an uh, error result.
the user running the program will find it difficult to establish what needs to be done to get the program run without error so that is something very common so this is it for library routines thank you